various action stations on the Gold Coast as our city prepares for the arrival of Australia's TV's biggest stars for the Logies. Bronte Gilday has gone behind the scenes where the setup is in full swing. Thank you and welcome. 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 Welcome all to the 42nd Logies. <laughs> God, if only they were that long. The Logies are just days from transforming Broad Beach, but organisers are keeping the venue well under wraps through this area and in the doors behind me, an explosion of golden decoration adorning the tables soon to be occupied by the biggest names in Australian TV. What we can show you tonight behind the scenes, the elaborate operation bringing the Logies to you at home. 290 people have been rigging the venue since Monday to have six cameras on the red carpet and 12 cameras inside. There'll be three satellite trucks broadcasting the event to you from 7pm Sunday. Out the front, hundreds of workers are right now arranging the bleachers for fans, media and photographers ready for the red carpet to be rolled out first thing tomorrow morning, just as the biggest stars begin to arrive at Gold Coast Airport. It's a pleasure to have you all here for television's big night. It is Australian television's night of evenings. What a night I had last night. <laughs> Cruz told authorities he went on the four-day purge based on the 2013 movie entitled The Purge. That purge cost him three consecutive life sentences for murder. Yes. And, and I'm aware of the pain that I have caused. Please just let us purge. Ow! Oh, me alone! I'm sorry, I, uh... Something came over me. I uh, <clears throat> see that girl used to work right here in this office. <laughs> You're not talking that Michigan deposit bottle scam. No, no, you? I'm off that. You tried it? Oh, yeah, every which way. You die here? The body cannot live without the mind. Either you got to do it. If you don't do it, they're going to throw you in a pit. They throw you in a pit, you're going to die. <laughs> Because that's my scent you're wearing. But it always does. getting the party started early by taking a look back at some of the most iconic moments in Logie's history. So here's Larry to take us through the thrills, the spills and the golden memories that have gone down in history. Ron Kennedy. It's Tony Park. Denise Drysdale. Arnie C. That's Mr. Norman Gunn. Gene Lift. Don Lane. Bart Newt. Mike Wall. Daryl Summer. Hey! Rowena Wallace. Greg McCartney, Steve Vizard, Lisa McHugh, Georgie Parker, Rose McManus, John Kate Ritchie, Rebecca Gibney, Ray Ma, Charles, Hamish Blake, Asher Kenny, Scott Kemp, Carrie Vinson, Ali Ali. There's some good memories there, aren't there? Some great times, great characters. Reminder. You can still vote for your fave stars at TV Week. Logies vote dot com. T Nobody clears a room like you, Walter. See, this place calls for more appropriate attire. <laughs> well, look who decided to show. <laughs> Pick up the damn phone. Yes, Mrs. Williams, this is Officer. Red Green of the MVPDL, and uh, we've recovered a stolen vehicle that uh, is registered in your name, and we'd appreciate it if you could come down to the impound lot and... What? My car's been stolen? During... Well, see you later. I'm in here. FBI, right? Gonna untie me? I said you wouldn't allow it. 
Oh, oh, hey, Pops, how you doing, man? Come on. Come on. Come on. Milo, put some effort into it. We landed on the moon! Because zoo animals have been released from their cages and are running amok in the city. It's extremely dangerous. Get them off, get them off, get them off. Okay, ready. Steven. That's not complicated. If there's less of something that is built to kill people, fewer people will be killed with that thing. That's why these days you see so few mass catapult attacks. I'm booked. I love the way you make them. No. <laughs> Loser. Give me your Nike. Our chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang loves us too. Hi, Brilliant. Oh, God damn it. That's uh, because I'm Keg about to go off. Tomorrow is pajama day. Good morning, Carlos. Good morning. Yes, it would be remiss of us if we didn't congratulate you as well, Carlos. Uh, nominated for the gold I again. Know, right. All sounds a bit ropey, the decision there to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he joins me right now. Carl, good afternoon to you. Another gold Logie. It's a pretty big deal. What does it mean to you to be nominated? Lizzie, it's been uh, 10 long years. Looking forward to it. It's been a long couple of years, hasn't it, I think, for, for everyone. Um, and in TV land as well, um, it's also been a pretty long haul. Um, so I think just even to get together with everyone and have a great time is going to be really special. Um, and I think that, you know, the world has changed in the last couple of years and to have been nominated as a news guy um, is, is extra special um, given how much news has been around over the last couple of years. So I feel really, really gratified. I feel, um, you know, really honoured, um, you know, and I wouldn't be there without my Today Show team um, who, who are very accepting of my weird and uh, quite crazy ways, as you know, Lizzie. <laughs> Network this morning. Two of our stars have just been named as nominees for the prestigious Gold Logie Award. How good is this? Sonia Kruger and Ray Ma are in the running. Sonia has been recognised for her hosting of two of Australia's most popular shows, The Voice, also Big Brother, and Ray's Up for Gold again after an incredible 35 years on Home and Away. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now that the aliens are dead and you've saved the world once again, uh, what are you going to do? 
Think if you stay, something bad will happen. Oh, yes, yeah, long drought. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think the chances are again of winning? Uh, somewhere between zero and nothing. Oh, oh come <laughs> on. I doubt that my status as a single mother has contributed all that much to the breakdown of Western civilization. Amazing. Not only do more people think Murphy would make a better parent than Dan Quayle, they think she'd make a better president, too. <laughs> You've got me all wrong. You don't know how hard it is being a woman looking the way I do. Oof. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. Where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? Oh! What if we knew what we did wrong? Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> Let's burn something. <laughs> wow, I can't even imagine what twisted deviant act you've thought of this time. Mega Mart's ruining everything. Now we're talking. Spooky, <laughs> <laughs> oh, vivacious young co-ed. You liar! You are nothing but a dirty old man! No. Jesus Christ, dude! My mom and dad are dead! No! Not this guy, he's six foot seven. <laughs> well, this is your humble servant! That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is! It is demanded by the gods, it is! It's a. I don't know. No. Put your head back. Put your head back. Some. Then I got this car sneaking under the door of a paid toilet. <laughs> that make you laugh. Now it's your chance to vote for the front bar for the most popular panel or current affairs program at tvweeklogiesvote.com